Hi. Today uh, you're going to be watching a video about how to do place value section method for division. The division problem that we're going to be calculating today is 738 divided by 6. I already have my rectangle drawn and sectioned off so that I'm ready to do the place value section method for division. I'm going to write this divisor, which is 6, along my vertical side of my place value section model. I'm going to write the 738 inside of this particular box. Notice how I already have my hundreds um, spot set up. I have, I know that for a hundreds number it's going to have two zeros. I know that when I'm dealing with a digit that's a multiple of 10, it's going to have one zero. And I know that a ones digit is only going to have a single digit. Notice how I've also created my think space down below. Now we're ready to calculate the division problem. I'm asking myself, six times a hundreds number will get, what number will get me closest to 738 when I multiply it by 6 times a hundreds number. Let's try 6 times 100. Underline the basic fact, 6 times 1 is 6, and then because I'm multiplying by hundreds, I should have two zeros in my product. 600 is my product. Now I'm going to ask myself in my think space, 6 times 200, will that get me close to 738? Underline the basic fact, 6 times 2 is 12. And because again I'm dealing with hundreds, I should have two zeros in my product. And that's going to give me 1200. Hmm, that's too big. Let's use 6 times 100. So I'm going to write 6 times 100 equals 600. I'm going to put my subtraction sign because this is where I'm putting my answer. 6 times 100 will give me 600. The product will be 600. So I'm now I'm ready to subtract. 8 minus 0 is going to give me 8. 3 minus 0 is 3. 7 minus 6 is 1. I draw my arrow to my next section of the place value that I'm going to calculate. So 138, I'm going to write it right here in my tens spot. So now I'm asking myself, 6 times a multiple of 10 should get me close to 138. Well, let's try 6 times 10. Underline the basic fact, 6 times 1 is 6. Because I'm dealing with a multiple of 10, it should have 1 0 in the product. So 6 times 10 is 60. Hmm, that's pretty close to 138. But let's try 6 times 20. Will that get me even closer? Underline the basic fact, 6 times 2 is 12. Because I'm dealing with a multiple of 10, it should have 1 0. 120, ooh, that's pretty close. Let's try 6 times 30. Underline the basic fact, 6 times 3 is 18. And a multiple of 10, 1, 0, so I still have 1, 0 in my product. 180, ooh, that's over. That won't work, and that one won't work. Let's use 6 times 20. So I'm going to write the 6 is already there. 6 times 20, I'm going to put the 20 here. And then what it equals, I'm going to put right here underneath the 138, and then subtract. 8 minus nothing, 0 equals 8, 3 minus 2 equals 1. So I'm going to write the 18 over here. So I'm asking myself, 6 times something will get me close to 18. Hmm. Well, 6 times 2 is 12. 6 times 3 is 18. That's my answer. That's my product. So 6 times 3 and I'm going to put what it equals right underneath here and then subtract. Aha! 18 minus 18 is nothing. So, my answer So, your quotient for 738 divided by 6 
is going to be 100 plus 20 plus 3 will give you a quotient of 123. We used 100, 2 tens, and 3 ones to provide a quotient of 123. How could we check this division problem? To check the division problem, you multiply your quotient times your divisor, and if you have a remainder, you'd add the remainder. But notice how we don't have a remainder. So we're just going to multiply the quotient, 123, times the divisor. And that answer should equal your dividend if you calculated the division problem accurately. So let's multiply. 3 times 6 is going to equal 18. We put the 8 in the 1's place and put the or put the 8 in the 1's place and the 1 in the 10's place. I like to put a plus symbol in front of that to remind me to add. So we multiply 6 times 2 10's times 1. That's 12, 13. We put the 1 here. 6 times 1 is 6 plus 1 more equals 7. Notice how the answer for the product is 738, and it does match with the dividend, 738. Therefore, our division problem was done accurately. Thank you for watching the video.